hi guys welcome to another build video so for this video uh, it was requested to me that I make a track sword build so for today I'm going to share to you two of my track sword build one is discipline and one is a safer build so to start off with the first build we're going to use a track sword with overpower and adrenaline cell specialist avenging overdrive modest recursive health with the rift stalkers sword for the bomb for the lantern we're going to use cautious bloom for that uh, lifestyle survivability this is our only sustain with uh, the catalyst cell time with helm with predator cell agarus armor with catalyst cell Time with gauntlets with adrenaline cell and tracks boots with cunning cell. So for this build, we're going to use a uh, discipline omni cell. Uh, this build will give you an overall perk summary of plus six adrenaline, plus six catalyst, plus six cunning, plus six overpower, plus six predator, plus three assassin's frenzy, and plus three parasitic. So the plus three parasitic here is just to mitigate some of the damage so you don't get a uh, one hit by the behemoth and if you don't want uh, to use tonics you can change catalyst to either a attunement or conduit or energized right so this build is mostly like a glass cannon so it's high damage output but weak survivability that's why i have another build for the track sword so for this build it's it's a lot more safer so to start off with this build I'm going to use track sword with overpower canning cell specialist avenging overdrive modest recursive hilt with rift stalkers sword for the bond i'm going to use carn lantern with etheric attunement cell Agarus Helm with Tough Cell, Razakiris Armor with Echeric Attunement Cell, Boreal Might with Overpower Cell, and Nasher Treads with Tenacious Cell. So for this build, I'm using Iceborne, but you can also use um, Discipline if you want. Uh, this build will give you an overall perk summary of plus 6 Echeric Attunement, plus 6 Cunning, plus 6 Overpower, plus 6 Tenacious, plus 6 Tough, plus 3 Assassin's Frenzy, and plus 3 Parasitic. So if you don't want Etheric Attunement, you can change that to either Catalyst, Conduit, or Energize Cell, depending on what Lantern you will use. So if you use Lantern that's based on damage like Dress, Amber Main, uh, you might want to use Zill, Zill cell, but if you are using a lantern that's based on uh, its utility use, like Shrike and Skarn and Koshai, might need to use Etheric Attunement cell for free, for you to use uh, the lantern hold frequently. Alright, that's it for the builds. Thank you for watching and enjoy the gameplay. So you wanna go to war with me? You're talking like you think you're royalty. You think that I'm afraid. But I don't break. I heard you question my stability. You think I'll fall just like a guillotine. But I am here to stay. Won't look away. The storm is coming. So you better start running. No, you can't control me. I'm going down. Coming for the for the power.
Options, nothing's working. I'm out of service. Come help me now, I'm fucking nervous. I'm trying, but can't stress the surface. So I'll keep my mouth shut and I listen. Afraid I lose you if I didn't. Can we find what we're missing and compromise? I'm sad. 